and I just noticed that the live stream went offline um, so I had to restart it anyway um, I think we are pretty much ready to like just re um, right. what is this why is this not working oh yeah yeah <laughs> I'm like, what the what the hell is going on here? And then like, the tracks are not visible. That's what's going on. Okay, um, so now we can just go into fabrication outputs, and um, we can just output. Oh, let's see. What what does this actually mean? Uh, so the bomb file that comes out of this thing is. Uh, I wonder what it looks like. Like it's totally useless to have a bomb output out of uh, PCB new because like you have to have your bomb already done before you even start PCB new. Okay, so this, this bomb function is totally useless. Like, it has the supplier and ref, but um, these are like, these are not connected to any meaningful fields. So this is like just, okay, this is my capacitor and it has a footprint, which has like, and it has the value, which is just that and uh, like nothing else. So this is totally useless. Uh, this shouldn't even be here by the way, like bomb export out of this thing shouldn't even be there. Okay, let's plot the um, the output. So we just need to plot uh, the Gerbers uh, as they are. With default settings and we should generate a drill file that is done separately uh, it's very important to press this button to regenerate the, the drill file every time you kind of uh, generate your uh, gerbers okay so now the files have been created And uh, now the files look like this, and we cannot just import those directly into Seed Studio. We have to uh, convert those to Seed Studio format. And I have a script for that. I'm just going to pick uh, pick that script up. Uh, I'm not really sure what it is. Um, but the script basically just converts the um, this this naming convention into uh, the Seed Studio conversion convention. I just need to find the file. I'm not really sure what it is. Oh, I found the script. Um, so I'm just gonna copy it over into the folder.
So it's called gurb to seed uh, and um, this file uh, basically just uh, renames the the Gerbers uh, into Seed Studio format, uh, which is called like GTO, GBO, GTS, blah blah blah. Uh, all of this stuff. It, it's pre it's pretty like straightforward script, uh, but uh, it's very useful to to use this script to um, convert the output to Seed Studio. So um, I'm gonna just run the script. Do we have a drill file? So just to uh, kind of show what I'm doing here, um, I'm uh, running the script but I don't have a drill file uh, and there is like okay there is a npth and there is pdh um, and what is the goddamn difference like because before it was just creating one of them generate the drill file What is NPTH and PTH? Seriously. And which one are we going to put into uh, Seed Studio? Right, uh, yeah, uh, so I think there is a option for this to merge them. Yes, there we go. There we go. Now, that that's the one that we need. So, PTH and PTH holes in a single file. Um, and I think that those are like uh, the different uh, types of bias. Right, plated holes and non-plated holes. Right, okay. <coughs> anyway, um, so this was it, and we can run the script now. And uh, we, we will find our uh, Seed Studio Gerbers uh, here, and we can just go uh, and... Um, uh, let's see... And we just zip this up. Uh, let's see, you just zip this up. And we can go back to Sid Studio. And we can just upload the Gerbers directly to Sid Studio. Let's see. Couldn't do that. that. That was that was bad. Come on, I can't even reload the page anymore.
Yeah. So I've uploaded the file uh, and we can just fire up the Gerber viewer uh, that they have available in C-Studio and we can just double check that the PCBs look correct. So this is what the PCB will look like uh, and it looks good. Uh, bottom layer is just a bunch of bias uh, and the holes are not connected. Uh, I did that on purpose. I don't want to connect holes to the ground. <coughs> Because um, it is always possible, if you do it this way, it's always possible to separate the, the chassis from the, from the ground plane. So you don't get any um, disturbances coming into the circuit from the, from the chassis. Uh, but you, you can also connect uh, this to ground explicitly, uh, if you choose to do so. So it kind of adds an extra option there to um, connect the holes to ground. That's looking good. Do they have a 3D viewer? I don't think so. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, and I hope you learned something from this. And I hope it was an interesting series. Um, and that's kind of the whole purpose of this uh, live streaming stuff. And um, I'm going to place an order on these PCBs and then the, in, in the next series for this particular board uh, I will just solder on the components and then we're going to test this board and see if it actually works. Um, the next project is going to be a really fun project. Uh, it's going to be a radar circuit uh, that I'm going to be designing uh, for 6 GHz and it's going to be really fun to do. Um, I'm going to be live streaming that as well. So um, have fun for now. Have a good day. Bye-bye.